Kill Pay-Per-View 2023. Center stage in Atlanta, Georgia, and who better to take center stage than Giselle Shaw? Oh, the spotlight shines brightly upon the quintessential diva. What a way to get this matchup started here in hot Atlanta. Seals that we are in fact in Atlanta because it was here that she unfortunately lost her contractual rematch for the Knockouts World Championship that was held at the time by Jordan Grace. Well, it's time to right those wrongs. Put a little check mark in the positive section here in Atlanta. And Tasha steals along with Savannah Evans and of course Giselle Shaw aimed to do just that. You talk about positivity. Well, with Shaw plus Evans plus Steals, it's a, a negative plus two other negatives, and hopefully that equals a positive. The math is not great, oh, but could this work? Potentially a very, very strong unit, but can they beat this one? to Impact Female Tag Team of the Year, the reigning knockouts, Tag Team Champions, the Death Dolls, and this is not exactly the best situation for the Death Dolls, despite what could be going on with Steels, Evans, and Shaw. The only other match is a trio for the Death Dolls was unfortunately a loss to the team of Vexed and Giselle Shaw. That was back in October, Shaw pinned Rosemary that night. So could Giselle Shaw be the little uh, stick in the crawl? for the Death Dolls here in a six knockout situation. Entirely possible. The track record individually for Savannah Evans, meanwhile, has been very good against the Death Dolls. Has got singles, victories against Taya Valkyrie and Rosemary. That could go a long way here in this matchup. I think, honestly, the X Factor, Jay Vidal on the outside. That's right, always watching, always taking care, always making sure things go right. looking cleaning for the quintessential leader and company, of course. So the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions getting set for this six Knockouts Tag Team matchup here at the site of Hard to Kill. Of course, we hope you join us on Access TV every Thursday night, of course, for the recap and all the fallout from Hard to Kill. Plenty of exclusive content available on Impact Plus and our social and digital media platforms. So right now, this is Taya Valkyrie to square off against Giselle Shaw here to start off this matchup. Taya Valkyrie, of course, still maintains the record for the longest knockouts world title Ooh. reign ever. And look at her go after Shaw. And yeah, we call it hot Atlanta, but this one's starting off hot. Taya Valkyrie taking it to Giselle Shaw, well, not messing around at all. Well, you know why. Recently on Access TV, it was Rosemary versus Savannah Evans before the match. Valkyrie was right. a tag stage a cover and a kick out there Valkyrie saying you know which four jump me so Jessica and Rosemary had to essentially go it alone out in the impact zone that's right but right now Shaw making quick work of Rosemary there on the eight ten but a quick tag here into Jessica but not before Ooh, a little pandemonium from Valkyrie to get, uh, I, you know what, I'll let you say it. It's about to get sick. Yeah. Get it out of Look the at way. Jessica, can we get a close up of Jessica's left, uh, left cheekbone when we have a chance? She has light up lightning bolts on her face for this matchup here at center stage. She's literally lighting up the center of the ring in center stage as Tasha steals now, looking to pick up the pace and take down the much more powerful Jessica, but look at Steele's go! Oh, he's looking for the Bulldog there. Uh, that's a little homage to Mickey James. In a way, the leg drop there. Here's the cover, hook to the leg, and a kick out. Power advantage firmly in the corner of the Death Dolls. Tag. Here tonight, unless, I should say, Savannah Evans tags 
into this matchup. Oh. That things could turn around, but right now it is all death dolls. How much would you have liked to have been able to be a tag team champion under the Freebird rule like the death dolls are? Oh, the tag maiden comes Evans. Oh, anytime, any place, tag any partner, the freedom of will like that. But I was just mentioning it before, Tom, that Cannibal is now in the difference maker for that side of the ring. Now, recently, Evans defeated Rosemary on Access TV. I talked about it. Taya Valkyrie had been jumped backstage, said that it was these four, meaning Evans, Steve, for Dolan Shaw, the jumper, and a bite here from Rosemary. Evans, though, not quite phased that much by it. Managed to recover, but only to eat a reverse DDT. There's a cover hook to the leg kick out by the Cannibal. And despite the friction between Tasha Steeles and Savannah Evans, Evans continues to win when she's had the opportunity. That's right, she's had a couple of key wins in the last several weeks. Really starting to prove herself more and more. Maybe one of those folks who doesn't struggle under the pressure, thrives under the pressure, especially under a leader like Tasha Steeles. But right now, uh, it's time to go. Wait. Well, Rosemary was going for the upside down. I was about to say time to go upside down, but time to turn things around is more like it. Literally oh. and figuratively. The backup from Steeles and Shaw. Evans with the power bomb cover in a kick out. What a great display of teamwork there from Shaw, Steeles, and Evans. It's just like that. Things are in a bad, bad way for the Death Dolls. Especially for Evans and Steeles. They're trying to get back to a Knockouts World Tag Team title shot. They had it over drive, came up short that night. Tasha Steeles was pinned by the Death Dolls, and that has bothered the Bariqua Badass immensely. Doesn't take uh, doesn't take much to bother the Boricua Badass. Oh, that's true. Definition of a short fuse. And when that fuse gets lit, bad things happen is what you can see is happening to Rosemary right now. Oh, an uppercut there by Steeles. Was that a, uh, a backhanded short joke you just made there about Tasha Steeles? No, absolutely not. You wouldn't dare. No. Oh! Low drop kick, basement drop kick. Here's the cover. Tried to tuck the arm kick out by Rosemary. Rosemary trying to stay in this one. Does not want a repeat of like you mentioned tag. that earlier six knockout tag match that they've had as a team. Wants to put the Death Dolls on the winning path. Oh, and Ooh. Shaw rushed in, hesitated a bit, and that helped Rosemary connect. Oh, and speaking about oh, a connection, heavy strikes are in the corner by Shaw. You see the way the play oh. the elbow, and now the double stop driving Rosemary down. There's the cover and this matchup, oh, and a kick out. Almost driving every little bit of breath that was left in the lungs of Rosemary out. And once again, steals Evans and Shaw in firm control. Could have been deja vu there if Shaw had been able to pin Rosemary. That aforementioned six knockouts tag team loss for the Death Dolls against Vexed and Shaw once upon a time. Now Evans hammers away on Rosemary, tagged by Steeles. That's the power of Evans. All it takes a couple clubbing blows. Oh to stop any well, offense. There's a cover. Shoulders down and a kick out there by Rosemary. Now Tasha steals the former knockouts world champion in control of the demon assassin here. Tasha Steeles won the Knockouts World Championship from Mickey James last year. Had defenses against the likes of Rosemary and Jessica. Now Rosemary rushes in, went for a clothesline. Oh, both women meet in the middle of the ring and go down. Great minds think alike. As now we are back to square one. An even playing field. Who's going to get the tag first to their team? Rosemary reaching out, and it's Jessica to meet Shaw. In comes Jessica. Little shake, rattle, and sick. I don't know. Here no. we go. Point of the elbow to Giselle Shaw. You're trying to force sick. You're trying to make sick happen, and it's not sick, okay? Look at the mirror, Hannah Fan, and look out for this. Cross body splash. Oh, and a kick out by Shaw. Great fortitude there from Giselle Shaw staying in this one, despite the offense from Jessica. Tag made, in comes Valkyrie. Valkyrie and Jessica became fast friends once uh, Havoc disappeared and Jessica emerged. Oh, Northern Lights suplex, here's the cover. Great bridge, but a kick out by Shaw. 
great friends and that that change that metamorphosis caused some friction within the total of the death dolls but they seem to for the most part anyway have worked all of that out can they get uh -oh. it done here tonight is it it time it? yes road to valhalla gotta be covered by falkery and it's broken up by steels great wherewithal from steels on that one Shaw saved by Steeles, and now Valkyrie dumped outside. Oh, Rosemary with a spear! And now Rosemary kicking Steeles out of the ring. Uh, and look at a big move by the Cannibal! And back and forth the action goes. Now it's Rosemary's turn to be unceremoniously dumped. Oh! And a big move there by Jessica. Now it's Evans out of the ring. Jessica holding the high ground. That's almost everybody out of the ring now, except oh my God. Jessica. Oh my you God. gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, that was sick. <laughs> like a double set of landing here in Atlanta. Jessica lighting up this six knockout tag team match. More like a double shot of something stiff as Jessica took down the entire crowd on the outside of the ring. And meanwhile, back inside the ring, Valkyrie just crushed Shaw. Oh, and wait a minute, look wait, wait, at Vidal! Jay Vidal getting into the ring while Steele's uh, distracts the referee! He wants to fight Tyler! Oh, bad idea, dude! That's what you oh. get! And Steele's have been distracting the official the whole time. Doesn't see this. Oh! Team champions, the Death Dolls, have to deal with the aftermath.